We're today on Checking Out Pacific Island Dance. Damn! Batteries flat! Hirana Kali is the name and Melanie to scuba dive is the game. Underwater baby, bring it on! Who took my wheels? What's up? It's your resident muso Sammy Sosa and on today's show I get the lowdown on Electro Pop Man, the Sagittarian. Don't forget to check out our website for the haps on the show and prizes. Oh, oh it's broken! Malo Lele, I'm Michael, come with me because I'm learning how to cook a pig the Tongan way and riding in style in a hamazine. Speak of the devil. Oh, hey! Can, can we, we help? help? Yeah, come on, jump in. Let's go. <laughs> See you. Technology. What's extra large, extra long, and can be used by a rugby team? Today, we're looking at the biggest and baddest in limousines, and I'm not talking about any old limos, I'm talking about hummazines. So what are they and what can they do? Well, let's find out. This is Waisake Sotutu, who first brought hummazines into New Zealand. Waisake, how did you first come up with the idea of bringing hummazines in? There's actually a couple of friends of mine that went up to a, a party up in, in Las Vegas that travelled around in one of these. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's the way, that's the way to, to get the hummer into the country and use it as a business and uh, then I get to drive one as well. Did you bring it in one piece or did you have to import it piece by piece and put it together? Up in the States, they're cut and they're extended out and they arrive in the country as full limousines. So something like this, how many people can it fit? Uh, the yellow one here sits 15 people. Uh, the black one sits 12 people. Is it diesel or petrol? It's a, a petrol engine. How much does that cost to fill up? It's uh, roughly about 180 bucks. Just about get to Wellington on a full tank. Who hires these? We've covered pretty much everything. Weddings, corporate functions, birthday parties, anniversaries, the works. So how much does it cost to hire out? The yellow one here, because it's bigger, uh, is $720 for an hour. And if you've got 15 people in the back, that's just over 50 bucks a head. Cool, well I can't wait to check out the inside. Can we do it? Let's go, have a look at the black one. This will blow your mind. You've got mirrors in here, it's like a nightclub with leather seats fridges, leather couches. So is this the first Hummer? This was the original Hummer that came into New Zealand. What famous faces have you had in here? Uh, the All Blacks. Boys to Men were in here for, uh, for a couple of days. All sorts of people. How much does this cost to hire out? This one here for an hour will uh, set you back 660. Cool. Should we check out the yellow one? Let's go. Woo! This is the yellow Hummer, another amazing freaky Hummer. It's like Party Central number two. Waisake, how different is this from the Black Hummer? As you can see, it's a lot bigger. Uh, the dance floor's a lot wider. It's got more subs than the black one, and it's just newer. We've looked at the interiors. Can we take it for a roll? Sure. Let's go. Wee. Just taking this baby for a drive, and the first thing you notice is that it's definitely a crowd puller. Now, why suck it? How hard is it to drive? It's not too bad uh, once you get used to the width and the length of the car. You know, um, tight corners and roundabouts. If you, you take them at the right angle, you're fine. What sort of a uh, special license do you need to drive this? You need an HT license and uh, a passenger carrying license. So, with that license, you're actually allowed to drive a bus as well. Do you think I could have a drive? You want to drive? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. You guys are insured, right? Definitely insured. Oh, man. That was real cool. I've got a couple of orphaned flatmates at home. Can we go pick them up? Yeah. Do you want to drive? I'm on my restricted. What? Get out. <laughs> Can we come for a ride? Yeah, jump in. <laughs> And that's what it takes to drive a Hummerzine. Thank you very much to Waisake and his awesome Hummers. For more information, check out the website below and we'll see you back at the far later on. See ya. See ya. See ya. Buckle up. Good to see you back. Coming up, Kalia learns how to scuba dive. 
Guys, I'm really nervous. What if I can't breathe? What if I lose my dive tank? Get a grip, woman. This will teach you how to breathe underwater. Don't worry, girl. You'll be okay. Just breathe through the yeah. snorkel. Ready, set, go! Check out scuba diving with the paranoid Kalia. <laughs> Ever wondered what it was like to be a fish? Well today I get to find out by learning how to scuba dive at Oraki Scuba Centre. Come with me. Guys, this is Rod, he's a senior dive instructor. Can you tell us what scuba diving is? Scuba diving is a sport where people spend a lot of time checking out the underwater environment. How does someone get into scuba diving? Yeah, well, they just got to phone up one of the local shops, um, get them into jump in the water, see how they like it, and then um, go from there. Is it an expensive sport to get into? It can be expensive. Um, it, it is a reasonable cost, but uh, once you've got all the gear and you've done the training, um, you're set to go, and then your costs are minimal. What do you love about scuba diving? Oh, I just love being underwater and uh, watching all the fish go about their day. Well, I'm keen to experience that. What do we need? I think we're just going to get geared up, eh? I think I can help with that. Whoa, so we've got a wetsuit, got my weight belt. So what do I need to do now? Now we need to sit down and we need to put our scuba units on. OK. This is our BCD, our scuba unit. OK, it's basically a jacket. Why has it got air in it? Air is to keep us afloat at the surface and to get us off the bottom while we're diving. We're going to put our mask on. This pretty blue one? A yeah, pretty blue one, yep. Now we're going to put the regulator in. This is the one we breathe from. So how do I do this? Just put that in your mouth, bite onto it, and just breathe. Nice, slow, deep breathing. How's that feel? That's the weirdest feeling ever. So it's just in and out through your yep. mouth. Now we slide in. Today. Okay, we're going to go through three different skills. First one we're going to do is clear a regulator. All right, we're going to take the regulator out and point the regulator down. Put the regulator back in our mouth and push this little button on the front here. Is this all, all while you're underwater? Yep. Okay. All right, once you push that button, all the water that's in the regulator will uh, disappear out of the exhaust valves and you can start breathing again. Okay, step number two is we're going to recover our regulator. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do is take the regulator out of our mouth with a big breath, throw the regulator over your shoulder. Alright, arms out in front, lean over to the right. Alright, big sweep down with that right arm. And you bring your arm down, you will find your regulator. And you can put it back in your mouth and clear it. Third skill we're going to do is underwater, you might laugh so hard. You get water in your mask. You're gonna take a big breath, touch the top of the mask, look up into the sun, and blow through your nose. <laughs> you can feel that under yep. here. And all the water will just disappear straight out with your bubbles. How was that? All right, that was really good. Well done. You did those three skills really, really well. Yeah? Yeah. What next? All right. Now we're ready to go into the deep end. All right. Have a swim. Let's go. Well there you have it, scuba diving, it opens up a whole new world. Thanks Rod for showing me how it's done. No <laughs> if you'd like more information, check out the website below. We'll see you out there under the water. After the break, Sam catches up with the Sagittarian. I find out about Pacific Island dance and Mike cooks a pig here at the Fale. Has Mike found a pig yet? Mm, kitty, 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 kitty. Yummy, yummy. Yeah.